So over my Instagram, I will ask this question. And I thought, they can bring for a pretty good video. This is something that can make you a little extra money or at the very least make you stand out in comparison to your competition. This is basically a vertical promotional video that your clients can use on their social media. Give them something they can post to their TikTok, Instagram, or YouTube shorts. The workflow for this is very simple. It's something I do at the very end of my project after I sent it off to the client. They've approved the color grade and effects, basically approved the whole video. That's when this comes into play. Let's break it down. You can just ignore this. I actually moved the files to a different hard drive, but when I'm done with the project, I'll hit control N to create a new timeline, uh, uncheck project settings, go over to format. Use the format will match whatever the original project settings were. I'm just gonna check use vertical resolution and hit create. Then I'll bring the full final video into the timeline. If you still have default settings, most likely it's gonna bring it in as a full video. So I'm gonna move it over to the edge. Then I'm gonna go over to the inspector tab, click on the video tab here, go down to retime scaling, click to open it and then go to scale and I'm gonna change it from project settings to fit. So that's gonna shrink the video down to more or less a horizontal format and then place it in the center. And if you're on DaVinci Resolve, I think 20.1 is when the introduces you have the little grid lines. I can actually turn it off. So this is what it looked like without any of the grids on. If I cut it back on, I actually have grid and center on. I also got default and I got 16 by nine. So basically this is a 16 by nine video within a nine by 16 format. And the grid lines you can move around. I'm gonna leave them pretty much where they are because I'm using them to basically separate this vertical format into three parts. Typically what I do from here, I scrub through the video to find where I put the title at. So right here it has the title and it has the artist's name and the featuring. I'm gonna hold Alt and click on the video and then move up to make a copy. Then with the copy select, I'm gonna hit Shift R to create a freeze frame. Then holding Alt again, I'm gonna click on the original video and move up beyond the previous copy to make a new one. With this one, I'm actually gonna scrub through it and find a still frame that I can use of the artist. So this particular video, the artist actually has a line where she does like an introduction of herself. So I'm gonna move my playhead to where she's saying her introduction. But now that I have the frame I want, I'm gonna click on that clip and hit Shift R again, create another freeze frame. Then we're just gonna use the transform tools to move these into position. So with the top click selected, go over to the transform and the inspector tab, and just gonna move the position on the Y axis. So we'll move this down here, more or less to fit underneath this yellow line. I'm actually gonna zoom in a little bit. So I'm gonna move it about right here and then zoom in a little bit on her and then move it down just a little bit more. So then I do the same thing with the next steel frame. I click on it, go to the inspector tab, I move up on the Y axis. Then I zoom in again, just a little bit more, just kind of bring more attention to the title. Now this is set to be a trailer. So I'm just gonna find like a good 15 to anywhere from 15 to 30 seconds within the song that I actually wanna use. This video actually has like a bit of a little intro to it. So I'm actually skip to right when the song actually starts kicking in right about here. I'm gonna split the clip and probably move back, say about 15, 30 seconds in. So once I have the section that I want, I'm just gonna move it to the beginning and then I'm actually gonna cut, delete the rest of this. And then I'm gonna cut my still images to match the length of the video. So now holding Alt, I'm gonna scroll the mouse wheel to zoom in. So this is basically all you need here, just a little bit of the video. I'm not giving too much, but giving just enough to give them intrigue, pretty much like a trailer supposed to. Now, if it's meant to be like a coming soon trailer, you might wanna put some text in there. So I'm gonna go into the effects panel. I'm gonna go to titles. Whatever font or style I use to create the title, I usually use for the text here at the bottom. So I'm going to my essentials pack. So now I'm going to my essentials pack. I'm gonna use title three is the one I use in the video. And then I'm gonna stretch this all the way out to match the length of the video. And these titles automatically scale to vertical timeline. So I didn't have to change anything. It just, you saw it right there in real time. Under song name, I'm just putting in like coming soon or something like that. Well, actually I'm gonna make it smaller. So there I put coming soon, then I'll probably close this box up. Then right here on the artist name, I'll put in like a fake date. I'll just put in the 31st. 2025. Then I'm gonna go up here to title controls and then I'm gonna move this down, place it over the bottom. Now, ideally you want this text to stand out a little bit more. So I'm actually going to my favorites and I'm gonna grab a, go to resolve effects. I'm gonna grab a Gaussian blur and place it over, now I'm gonna place it on this top clip here, which is the clip of the artist. So it's gonna kind of blur the artist out, but it'll make the text a lot more legible. So typically you can put something like coming soon or link in bio or depending on what the artist needs is for. I will take it and place it behind the clip. I go back to that still frame, go over to the effects and uncheck it to turn off the Gaussian blur. Then I'm gonna go back to my media pool and go to my power bins and I'm gonna grab a, I'm gonna grab an effect from my rapid movement pack. I'm gonna grab this lens blur and just place it in between the two clips here. I'm gonna hold alt and scroll in the mouse wheel and just make sure it's in between the two clips. It'll create like a little quick transition. I'm gonna go back to the title here. I'm gonna double click to recenter it. Actually, I'm gonna stretch this out a little bit. So that basically create this little quick transition, just say coming soon. Then I'll cut this off right at the 30 second mark, split that off and then I hit control T. I'm gonna hold alt and click on this first end here 
and hit backspace delete that and it'll just have this fade out at the end if you got some out of today's video do me a favor and hit that like button it goes a long way in supporting the channel and i'll see you in the next video